Hello everybody, it's Marge from Fashion Index and um, Tirsa is going to be joining me right now and we are actually interviewing Allison um, from Allison Holmes Design and she's a tech designer guys, she's a fantastic uh, pattern maker um, and um, I think that you're going to love her so let's look for Allison right now, hold on one second, waiting getting Tirsa in here. All right, here we go. All right. Hi, everybody. How is everyone today? I hope you're having a great day. We're very excited to talk to Allison today. Allison. Hi, Allison. How are you guys today? We're grand. How are you? I'm good. Excellent. Good. Yay, so we were just starting to, to talk about everything. So I'm Tirsa, and this is Marge. We're from Fashion, Fashion Index, which mm -hmm. is um, a resource for you to find your connections in the industry. And one of, one of the people that we have listed on our platform is Allison. And Allison is from St. Louis, Missouri, and she is in love with the technical side of the industry. Allison, can you tell us a lot more about you? Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me today. Of course. Um, yeah, I love the technical side. So I am a freelance pattern maker. I work with women's slow fashion brands to help them um, get their designs to production with confidence. So all the kind of in between things between design, like the creative design and production. So tech packs, fit sampling, pattern making and grading. Um, is what I do. It's all all the numbers and the the math side of fashion that I love that many designers really hate to look at a spreadsheet of numbers all day. So that's definitely yeah, true. And we, and, and we love that you love it. And happy anniversary to your company for five years. Oh, thank you. That's amazing. That's today. Um, mm -hmm. yep, so, five years um, today. Yeah. So so can you tell us a little bit about kind of your your story and how you got to where you are today? Yeah, so I always loved sewing. I think that's what got me into the industry. I like grew up with my best friend, like grade school, making clothes for our dolls. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, I always loved like creating and, and making um, clothing. And I was always a very hard size to fit. So I hated shopping. Uh -huh. I get it. Um, and like never like found <laughs> stuff that worked. And so I was always like faltering or like making stuff for myself. That's awesome. And um, very organic. Parents, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so um, my parents like had us like look up like what careers we might want to go into or whatever when we were in high school. So uh -huh. I was like, you know what, like maybe I'll look up what it's like working in fashion. I kind of had this idea that like working in fashion was like trying to be a movie star that like either make it big <laughs> or you're a starving artist. Um, but then I realized like, no, there's actually a lot of careers in fashion that aren't just like big name brand designer yeah uh -huh. um there's like these other areas of fashion that like really interested me so yeah i went to um school for fashion design and business administration Good and then you. worked in the industry in what school did years. you go to i went to lindawood university in st charles missouri cool we did a whole thing yeah. a couple of months ago on like what fashion schools people went to because mm -hmm. we feel like people kind of always think that there's only like, I don't know, five or six major ones, but right, there are so right. many great fashion right. schools out mm -hmm. there. And you don't have to be yeah. in New York City or you don't have to be in California to do it. No. So it, that is a pretty exactly. powerful thing. And that's why I wanted to ask you. Yeah. So yeah, me, yeah. It's like my family's from the Midwest and yeah. it just wasn't like realistic for me to like move across the country and not have a car and have to yeah. fly home uh -huh. for, you know, for school breaks and stuff. So it was within driving distance and I liked, I liked the city and yeah, the, the campus and the program was really nice. So, that and I, I've stayed, so I'm still in the St. Louis area. Right. I'm like 45 so minutes from That's mm -hmm. great. Oh my God. And there's so much industry in St. Louis and, and you know, there's, there's a huge program to bring even more of our industry into that area. Mm -hmm. So now it's thriving, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it really is. It's like not a city that you typically think of as a fashion hub. Mm -hmm. And like, we're not New York or LA by any means. But like, there's so much here that even, you know, after 
um, over 10 years of being here that I'm still learning is here. There's um, St. Louis used to be the biggest shoe manufacturing city in the U.S. Um, and so we still have a lot of that. Um, some big shoe companies headquartered here as well as a lot of um, fashion companies, a couple big catalogs, direct to consumer brands you've probably heard of, and then a whole bunch of like independent uh, fashion designers as well. It's like a really kind of like startup friendly area. So that's it's awesome. a very, very thriving industry and there's more and more of it each year. So. I love that. That's fantastic. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, and you do so much to, to, to get your brand out there. I know that you, you're, you're very excited and you both right through referrals and then you do a lot of outreach as well. So, you know, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's amazing that you've just literally taken a, a small idea, a dream of yours and grown it into a full fledged business where you're like, see, see you corporate. I'm going to go do this for myself and have more clients and have this experience. That's so cool. I, I totally mm -hmm. admire that as well. And I also mm -hmm. think Alison with this podcast that you're having, um, I feel like you started it at exactly the right time. And like, I think that that is just phenomenal because you're educating people and, mm -hmm. you know, like, and building that trust with them, which I love in a podcast, you know, format. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's so fun too, to just hear the stories. Of Bye, the you're owners. Owners. I hope yeah. your son's okay. And, <laughs> and um, yeah, just, you know, it can be kind of isolating, especially as a small business and when mm -hmm. everyone was working from home during COVID and even, you know, even now, like I work from home in general. So, um, you know, not being surrounded by a big office of coworkers, like it's great to be able to connect with these other, um, totally. you know, brand owners and hear their story and hear the challenges and how they overcame them. Yeah. And then just like the really cool products that they're making that really, you know, the clothes and the specific customer that they're designing for like it, it's, it's it's exciting to me and I know um from you know feedback people have given me on the podcast that they uh really enjoy hearing that as well it's like kind of that um, you know can relate to relate to these stories from other business owners yes totally. it's great so I want to let everyone know so you guys Allison has um a podcast it's called how fitting I mean I love the name to begin with but it's like, it's so fantastic that you have this podcast. Allison, what are the details? Like, when do you, when do you, um, do you have a regular day of the week that you do your podcast? Yeah, so it's every other Tuesday. So um, there was a special episode today uh, because of the fifth anniversary of my business. But normally it's every other Tuesday. So next Tuesday um, will be the next, like, main full episode Okay, and cool. it's yeah, twice a month. It's and they and I think isn't it through a link on your um Instagram that they can actually access the podcast, is it? Yeah. So yeah. either through the link in my bio at Allison Haynes Design or um at howfittingpodcast.com and then you can listen on you know Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, all of that. So that's great. I that's love awesome. it. That's awesome. And you can find Allison on fashionindex.com. She is a, a resource listed under technical. So we're very yeah. excited to have you. And, you know, we were, we, as we were getting to know Allison, we were talking about how she does her, what she does. And, and she's very progressive in how she, how she's embraced 3D. She works with yes. office, works with Clo. She, you know, still obviously is a small business, but has found a way of making, making these affordable and work for a small business. So yeah. I, I it's so it's always really exciting to talk to somebody and and hear that you know a small business can be in the modern world of of the technology so that's super exciting and you know it saves you so much time you're more accurate and and like we were talking you show the vision to back to the 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 customer and they can say yes that's exactly what i want and you and you don't waste time in those extra samples and all the time extra and money effort. time and money sampling yeah, yeah. time and money and yeah, because I mean, sustainability is and you know important to me and to many of my clients as um, kind of mission and value based businesses mm -hmm. too. And so there's like that aspect of like we don't want to waste fabric and resources and shipping. Um, you know, not to mention like just 
you know, packages have been lost or delayed so right. much these past couple of years with all of that. So like as much as we can eliminate the time and the money and the environmental impact of mm -hmm. um, extra samples and shipping them back and forth, like as possible, it, it really helps in so many aspects. So being able to kind of preview styles in 3D and, you know, it, mm -hmm. I, you know, we do fittings over Zoom and um, being able to, to just like go over the design and really see like, does this fit your vision? You know, mm -hmm. how does this fit? Um, you know, and, you know, we'll fit, I'll fit them in 3D on an avatar that is the same measurements as their live fit model. So somebody who's right. in their target market, who has the body shape and size of who they're really making these clothes to fit. Yeah. So it's, it's really cool to see. And it's also, you know, saves so much, you know, like you said, time and money yeah. in the process. Yeah. And, and, and we too to love that more. sustainability. Yeah. We love mm -hmm. it. And I think it's yeah, great. And it allows you to like work more cross country. So I mean, I work with brands that are across the U.S. and even outside of the U.S. Yeah. Um, because the workflow is so, you know, digital. It really it makes yeah. it easier to be able to collaborate and, yes. and find the right fit for you know clients and for them to find the right fit for a pattern maker regardless of location. Oh yeah, yeah. and I know for years I was always like, God, I, if I could be in another location, how amazing would that be? You know, when when whatever happened. And now you can, and now you can have these great collaborations, mm -hmm. like you said, internationally, and and really do all of this regardless of where you're located. That's amazing. Yeah, that is mm -hmm. phenomenal. I also love that you're bringing this very most cutting edge technology to people who are even just starting out, like they have the ability to be working in the most like advanced technology because you're, you're allowing that for them, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really amazing, Allison. Like, I don't even know if you know how awesome you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm flattered. <laughs> it really is. So yeah. cool. I mean, I don't, I, I, I just think it's so cool. Like, you know, working with small businesses, there's so much like heart and, um, like uniqueness to that where they really have like this idea a lot a lot of um, the brands I work with you know who are just starting out like their product idea and their business is built around like a personal struggle that they've had or a friend or a family member where they're like you know I can't find clothes for this purpose for this fit to you know make me feel confident in this situation and so they're designing a business around like solving this specific problem and mm -hmm. it's really fun to be a part of that and see that, you know, help them build that foundation mm -hmm. on the fit and technical side from the ground up. Yeah, it's just fantastic. I love it. And I, I'm with you. I love working with small businesses and small brands because mm -hmm. I feel like, like you said, that heart is like awesome. You know, like you're doing mm -hmm. it because, you know, because it's actually a passion of yours, you mm -hmm. know, and you're making mm -hmm. your dream come to life. I love that. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Agreed. And, and then, you know, helping them scale it, right? Helping them yeah. grow, grow that, that, that small idea into a bigger business and keeping that heart is just, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. And, and I'm so glad to, to know you and have you listed on fashionindex.com. And uh, I want everyone to else out there for to all know the you? people. Yeah. Yeah, I want to put it out there for all the people listening. If you have any questions that you want to ask Allison, you can put it in the chat and we'll try to answer them. Um, uh, go ahead. So go ahead and ask. Um, if not, um, uh, what, what else is there? Is there anything else that you want to talk about? I mean, I know that we, we talked a bunch, you know, you, you do the tech packs, you do the pattern making, the fittings, um, grade samples, which we haven't addressed yet in this call. And then you, you make sure that they have a sew by sample for the factory. Is there any, any, yeah, yeah. So those are the important things mm -hmm. to like, there are kind of two types of factories, like the factories that are, you know, full package production, where they're you're doing the sampling and development, and they're sourcing fabric for you. And like, all of that is happening through the factory. Right. Um, and then the other type of factory is a cut and sew factory, where right. they're literally just doing that cutting and sewing your garment. And so that's mostly the brands I'm working with are working with cut and sew factories. Uh -huh. And there are a lot of a lot of factories in the U.S. Most of my clients do U.S. production um, Love that. that operate that way. And so, yeah, for that type of factory, like they they want a a sample to see like what is this product we're making for you, uh -huh. and that's kind of the standard. You, you know, you can show the sewers, you can see like okay, this is what they're you know the 
client is expecting the factory to produce for them, yeah. um, as well as the tech pack that has, you know, obviously all the written and, and um, technical sketches and instructions and right. graded specs for them yeah. um, in written form. And then the, pa the graded digital pattern. So I do my pattern making digitally in Optitex. And then um, I'm also great in Optitex as well. So I'm able to just email the factory um, the graded file and or marker file if they, if they need markers. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, so then the factory like has everything they need to then make the pre-production sample for the brand, you know, test out the production of that sam mm -hmm. sample, the brand can see the quality from the factory and then go into production. So it's kind of all that middle piece of right. to go from the designer has a sketch and maybe fabric picked out, and then we work together to get all those other things that the factory is going to need to actually produce the order for them. That's Great. perfect. That's amazing. That's fantastic. Yes. Yeah. So you guys, Allison is definitely the person to reach out to. Go to fashionindex.com, reach out to Allison Hones Design, and, um, and Allison can literally help you take your idea and, and make it a reality. She'll right. be, she's that bridge um, between you and the factory. So definitely mm -hmm. connect with Allison. Uh, listen to her podcast, um, How Fitting. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Allison's next podcast is going to be out next Tuesday. So you can mm -hmm. go to howfitting.com or you can go to Allison's Instagram um, and, and see the link there to listen to her podcast. Yeah, it's howfittingpodcast. How bad, yeah. howfitting podcast. Okay, got it. <laughs> got yeah, it. Yeah, a little longer. But... Well, it's been so nice talking to you today, Allison. Yes. Thank you for taking time with you. making this happen. We yeah, love it. Thank you. I love that you're kind of bringing together all these resources and, and people in the industry to really, yeah, share, share all the knowledge and the, and the resources for, for different people. Yeah. Right. I mean, we, we love what you're doing, Allison. We're just going to keep okay. letting people know. <laughs> That's right. That's right. All righty. It was so good to talk yeah. to you today. Yeah, great to talk to all you right. both. Congratulations on your five-year anniversary. So exciting. Yeah. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Have a great day. Have a good day, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.